Nebraska will conclude its 2013 season by traveling south and appearing in its 50th all-time bowl game, the TaxSlayer.com Gator Bowl in Jacksonville, Florida on New Year's Day. The Oscars will square off against the Georgia Bulldogs, the team selected to represent the Southeastern Conference in the Big Ten SEC matchup. Located in Athens, Georgia, the Bulldogs play their home games in Sanford Stadium and are in their 13th season under head coach Mark Rick. The Red and Black finished the regular season with an 8-4 overall record, including a 5-3 mark in SEC play. Georgia will be making its 49th all-time bowl appearance and will be playing in the Gator Bowl for the fourth time in program history. The Oscars and Bulldogs last met a season ago in the Capital One Bowl at Florida Citrus Stadium in Orlando, Florida. In a game that saw over 1,000 yards of total offense between both squads, the 16th ranked Huskers came up short in their bid to win their first bowl game since 2010. Senior running back Rex Burkhead returned to the starting lineup for the second time since injuring his knee midway through the season. The Plano, Texas native bolstered the Nebraska offensive attack in the Sunshine State, recording 140 yards on 24 carries and also grabbing a 16-yard touchdown pass from Taylor Martinez in the second quarter. However, the Big Red was unable to match two Bulldog touchdowns in the fourth quarter and dropped their second straight game at the Capital One Bowl. Offensively, Georgia has played one of the most difficult schedules in the country and has been plagued by key injuries in the second half of the season. The Dogs have matched up against five teams currently ranked in the Associated Press top 14, winning two of those contests. Red and Black will be without their senior starting quarterback, Aaron Murray, who threw for over 3,000 yards for the fourth straight season before tearing his ACL against Kentucky in late November. With the rash of setbacks at key positions, sophomore running back Todd Gurley has become the focal point of the offense. The North Carolina native has appeared in nine games this season, accumulating over 900 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns by averaging over six yards per carry. The versatile back has also been a threat in the passing game, ranking fourth on the team in receptions and adding another five trips to the end zone in that capacity. On the defensive side of the ball, the Bulldogs have a young squad, but have seen steady improvement throughout the season. The unit has struggled with slow starts this year, giving up 27 points to Auburn and 20 points to Georgia Tech before halftime. The underclassmen heavy group has allowed opponents nearly 30 points per game and over 380 yards of total offense this season. But the squad seems to be peaking at the right time, playing a pivotal role in helping the team win four of the last five games to finish the regular season. The Huskers will take on the Georgia Bulldogs in the TaxSlayer.com Gator Bowl on Wednesday, January the 1st in Jacksonville, Florida. The game will kick off at 11 a.m. Central Time and can be seen nationally on ESPN2 and heard throughout the state of Nebraska on the Husker Sports Network.